Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with just the install of the Bridge Designer software. So uh, we just go ahead, basically we just install for, uh, for anyone on the computer. Just keep, keep hitting next and install. So, um, so basically it's just going to run. Uh, uh, we're going to watch it kind of install here. Okay, so there we have it. So we have, um, though it's been installed, we're going to click on Run, uh, Run the West Point Bridge Designer 2014. So this is a annual contest, actually, that the, the makers of the software run. Um, okay, so we're just going to click Yes here. All right, so this is where it starts out at. It starts with a tool tip when you first sign up. I uncheck this and then click close. And then it gives you this new bridge design software or this new bridge design uh, wizard. So, okay, so you're gonna need to watch the exact, uh, so for our purposes, we're gonna be doing a contest, right? So there are gonna be some very specific things that you can adjust and things that you cannot adjust, all right? So let's take a look at them. So we're going to cre click Create New Bridge Design. We're going to click OK. All right, so the very first thing here, notice that it's 44 meters by 24 meters, and then we have the grade, right, is 2 to 1. Okay, so rise of 2, a run of 1. Okay, uh, local contest, no. Okay. So right here, we are going to keep this exactly the same. So you cannot change deck elevation. Notice that if we put it down to four meters, obviously that's a lot easier, right? Because it's less of a span, right? So we're gonna keep it at 24 meters. Uh, we're gonna do no arch abutments. We're gonna do standard abutments. Uh, we're gonna do no pier, right? So notice the pier, we can take a pier all the way up from the bottom like that, but we're gonna do no pier. Um, and we're gonna do one, one cable or two cable anchorages, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and do, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to do none of these things, okay? So we're going to do standard abutments, no pier, and uh, no cable, I'm sorry, you can do uh, one or two cable anchorages if you want, okay? So if you want to do cable anchorages, that's fine, all right? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click next, but notice that 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 in, that changes your cost down here. So notice that the cost with no cable anchorages is sixty-two thousand seven hundred. Two cable anchorages adds eight thousand. A pier adds it's all the way up to one hundred sixteen thousand, right? So that type of pier. So you're, what you're doing is you're watching the the competition is in cost, right? Okay, so we're going to put no pier, and you can have two cable anchorages. Okay, this can all be adjusted however you choose. So you got medium strength and high strength concrete. Notice high strength concrete adds uh, adds cost, as does uh, uh, so the loading. Everybody needs to keep it on standard 220 kilonewton truck. Okay, so that's the loading. So do not change the loading. Leave it on standard. Okay, um, we're going to select a template. We're going to put none. Okay, so do not use a template. And we're gonna click finish. Okay, so here we have our initial, um, our initial uh, kind of uh, bridge here. All right, so, so basically what I can do is I can start to add members, all right? So, so uh, I can start to add members and I can also add uh, joints up here. So notice that I can put a joint anywhere I want up here as well, okay? Okay, and I can add in members like that. Okay, this may or may not be the best thing ever, right? Okay, um, so let's say that I went ahead and added uh, um, uh, just some stuff. Now this is probably not gonna be uh, Uh, 
Oh, what's that? The joints are not level. Okay, so obviously I'm building a very bad bridge here. <laughs> Just so you know, this is not going to work. I believe you can move the things around as well. You can also highlight and use the delete key to remove things. Okay, so I highlight and use the delete key. Okay, and let's say that I get to a point where I think I have a pretty good design, which I'm pretty sure that I don't. Pretty solid construction there that I've got going. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm not sure about that, but let's just try it. Uh, so, so basically I got the bridge going on. Okay, now, there are lots of different things that I can change about this, right? Okay, so if I have my bridge going on here, one thing that I can do is I can actually change. So notice that, um, uh, so notice now there here's some things I can do. Now I'm up to $439,000 on this, all right? Now one of the ways that I can adjust this is that for each member, notice on the right-hand side here, see the number? So I'm on member 31 right here and material type is carbon steel, I can change that. Okay, I can also change whether it's a solid bar or tubing. I can also change the thickness of it. So notice that if I go down here, I can make it you know, super, super thick if I really wanted to, all right? Okay, but all of that, notice that all of that um, affects the, the, the cost of the bridge, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, test and we're just going to click load test. Okay, so it's structurally unstable, right? Okay, so I have a lot of reasons as to why this bridge is unstable. Okay. So you are going to do a great job in designing these bridges, okay? So basically what's going to happen is So I'm adding a lot of unnecessary. So we click test, click road test. I think it's just not good, just not going to work for me. Okay, so I would have to go back and uh, really update this bridge, right? hoping to get something stable for you guys here okay so uh, okay so notice I'm not really that fantastic at designing these I'm sure you are going to do much better. Okay, so we got our Let's see if this is going to be a little bit more stable.
Okay, so in this case, we so we got kind of a stable bridge. It's not that stable. Notice that once the truck goes, okay, it's already failing, right? Okay. Okay, so notice that what we get here, when we do this load test result, notice that we get a lot of data back, right? So we get where the, so notice that on, if I highlight these, right? So notice I highlight the red sections. It shows me where these uh, compression forces are too great, right? So if I go to these compression forces, so for example, on this one, this was my highest compression force, right? Um, So let's say that I bulk that center beam up, okay? Now, meanwhile, my design is just not good, right? Okay, but notice now that beam is kind of taken care of, right? Okay, so we go back. Maybe we do the same thing here. And notice how I can adjust it now so that, um, so based upon these this data, right? So notice now that the load is getting a, uh, Okay, but notice how expensive it is also. All right, so you can see how, how you might um, use this data to, uh, to improve your bridge, all right? Okay, so notice that a lot of the other, uh, you can also get a lot of other details on for each individual member. Okay, so notice that um, strength versus length, right? Okay, and a unit cost per member. So notice that this member is this member alone is $45,000, right? Whereas this member is $7,000. Okay, so you can also go in and, and identify costs like that. Okay, so guys, the purpose of this is that you get, you build these bridges, you get kind of an intuition on what's gonna work and what's not as you kind of go through, and it's an easy way to iterate through this kind of bridge design before you actually build these balsa, balsa wood bridges. Everybody got that as an idea? Okay, so be thinking Yes, this is in a program, but I'm also going to have to build a balsa wood bridge in a couple of days. So this is me kind of experimenting with what's going to be carrying the heaviest loads. Okay? All right, guys. Good luck.